Welcome back to Mind Crushers. All right, if you're new to the channel, Brady, get your mind crushed. That's right. Yeah, that's what happens. If you're new to the <laughs> channel, it's stupid, com stupid questions, stupid conversations from two co-creators of Cards Against Humanity. That's the type of humor we're dealing with here. And uh, we've done a, ser a few installments at this point. We always do 10 cards each video. Uh, and you never know what, what level of depth you're going to get because, you know, the questions range from just stupid to sometimes uh, a little thought-provoking and, and everything in between. So <laughs> Sometimes unbelievably stupid. <laughs> mm -hmm. But we've done five episodes so far, and the last one we did was eight months ago at this point. So yeah, it was, it's been a while. It's been a while. So it's we time. definitely have to, have to bring it back. It is time. It's definitely time. It's I'm gonna time. do it. More. We dive in at random. Let's see what comes up. Uh, here we got the butt slapper. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. This mind crusher is a true story. So we're in a hotel hot tub in Las Vegas writing mind crushers. A big white muscle guy in his late 30s comes over and yells, You guys have any weed? We say it's legal here. You can buy it at the store. He says, They're cool now? We nod. He then starts to rhythmically slap his spray tan girlfriend's butt. He says, They're cool here now, babe. While he slaps. <laughs> what do you think of this man? Does he have a rich inner life like you and me? Or is his mind a dark void? <laughs> I... Uh, this guy sounds like his mind is a dark void. I'm not gonna lie. It doesn't, seem like it's, doesn't seem like there's that much there. The fact that he didn't know that he could buy weed in the state that they're in mm -hmm. is a little is a little disconcerting. Yeah, maybe he'd been partaking a little too much that day already. Mm -hmm. Um, why he was just publicly slapping his his spray tan girlfriend is that what they yeah. refer to her as? The yeah. fact that he was just slapping her butt weirdly rhythmically and and happily apparently exclaiming that, <laughs> mm -hmm. that, that it's they're cool here now. I don't know. Um uh, he might have something yeah, figured out. I, wouldn't, that we I don't. mean like he might have something <laughs> figured out. He might have the key to happiness, and that's a l l limited brain cells. What I like is the fact that they're like they're chilling in a hot tub in Las Vegas writing Mind Crushers. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's, that's their vibe. All right. Turn just, just hanging out. They're just chilling. They're doing their thing. And then all of a sudden, this guy. <laughs> and then inspiration for a whole Mind Crushers here. All right. Wow. All right. So but the jury's out on that guy. I didn't have to. Yeah. I, I don't know. That's. He might he might have something figured out, but to me, it's someone that I wouldn't want to find out if he knows what or what he knows. Really, it feels like it's it's better to assume that his mind is a is a dark void. Fair enough. All right. Well, this next one's called "He Found the Dildo." It's NSFW. Okay. Well, uh, I hope he did. Your four year old son. He found the dildo. He took it out of your dresser oh, and he put yeah. it in his toy box. He loves to play with it. It is his favorite toy. It's big, <laughs> floppy, and hilarious. Are you going to take your child's favorite <laughs> toy away from him? <laughs> yes. Yes, you are. I mean, you're not going to take it away from him in the sense that, like, while in the middle of him playing it, playing <laughs> with it. If, if Because apparently he's already taken it and put it in his box, which means he's played with it multiple times. Right. Well, this is a teaching moment. But you moment. do take <laughs> it away from him. It's, this is a taking moment. You took a toy out of my toy chest and put it in your toy yeah. chest. That's not your toy. Right. That's that's my yeah, toy. Yeah, that's how you just that's how you just that's that's right. That's how you just yeah. that's how you, you explain it very simply. You don't have to go into all the details about what that toy is for. Um like you don't just own everything. <laughs> you literally rooted around it in my dresser. Yeah. That's my toy box. Yeah. What the heck, little kid, little man, or yeah. little, little girl? I guess it could be a little girl. Yeah, it's not it's not as difficult a dilemma as I think you you might you might imagine on the surface. <laughs> yeah. No, what I found what I found funnier is when like it is like the videos of like of, like dogs uh, like 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 running off in like the woods and then coming back holding one. 
<laughs> those are way more interesting <laughs> you know you, there's also probably an option children are pretty stupid you could probably do a little indiana jones trick and like quick swap it out with a different toy a different new toy it's true true <laughs> and he's like yeah, yeah different yeah. this different, is way more uh, fun and floppy for another floppy toy you know? <laughs> like, another oh, floppy toy yeah <laughs> wow that's pretty cool <laughs> It's not a big. It's not a big he weenus. Completely forgets <laughs> about the dildo by the end of it. That's right. All right. This one's called Three yeah, Terrible it's... Animals." Did you have anything else oh, okay. to say about the the dildo? Well, uh, well, my thing about that was like, well, apparently, so that one is like, it must be, it must be like one of the like, like the sort of silicone one. If it's floppy, because mm-hmm. they make them in all kinds of different varieties and styles. So if it's a floppy one, it means it's probably one of like the like a silicone for sure. Maybe a little bit of a bigger one. And it's little. So that means that that one's probably going to be more likely to to look like a dick, which would be a little also a little Detailed, weird. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's true. Um, <laughs> yeah, like. Whatever. They're just a little kid. It's, <laughs> yeah, it's your four year old son too, so he probably knows what he's playing with too. Yeah. Yeah. All right, little man. <laughs> Give me my dick back. <laughs> All right. This is called Three Terrible Animals. Uh, hey everyone, please Google image search the following three animals. All right. Are we gonna do that now? Oh, hold on. We'll, we'll let's read it first. All right. Uh, okay. Three, the following three I've got animals: a phone, so. lamprey. Star-nosed mole and blobfish. So you're dead, oh, yeah. and you're going to okay. be reincarnated as one of these animals. That is your punishment for being a total shitbag your entire life. Make your selection. Right, okay, do, so lamprey. Yeah, I do know the star-nosed mole. I don't know so. if I know the star. I don't know if I remember the star-nosed mole. Oh man, lamprey's pretty gnarly. Yeah, he's pretty gnarly. Oh, that's oh, I have seen the the Starnose mole. Yeah, yeah, he, live. It's, it's truly an abomination. <laughs> the Starnose mole. Yeah. Same aquatic mole found moist low elevation areas in the northern parts of North America. It's awful. It's awful. It's like <laughs> it apparently lives around. Headless. It's around here. Yeah, it doesn't look mm. like he even exists. Really, poor little guy. And then blobfish. Uh, the blobfish. The blobfish is. F- I love this fucking oh, thing. Fuck uh, yeah. <laughs> blobfishes are great. Yeah, I forgot about him. The, I would the be muck, a blob. The real, I'd like, be a mug, blobfish. Muck. Yeah, yeah, I'd be a blobfish. I think they're. F- I think they're fucking hilarious. They also are like. Um, <laughs> Definitely. They're also like. Uh, I think they're. Um, are they like a protected species now? Something. I don't know. We do need to protect them at all costs, though, for sure. Yeah, yeah. When they look like that. Yeah, I'll be re- reincarnated as a blobfish for sure. Uh yeah, a blobfish, easy. Um, it's just because they they bring joy to a lot more people than I think those other two do. Um, <laughs> yeah. just because they they looks they're kind of so ugly that it's hilarious, and you kind of love them because of it. Yeah. Um, lampreys, uh, not so much. They're kind of horrifying looking. Um, they're kind of cool, but also like. Lampreys, I think, are are par- like parasitic. They like latch onto you, and like I'm pretty sure that's what lampreys do. Let me just go back and find it. A starmost mole is cursed, though. I'd never be that. <laughs> that's yeah. That's gonna be reserved for the real shit bags. Most, but not all, lamprey species are parasitic on other fish. Yeah, I'd rather not be a parasite. Yeah. I'd rather be a blobfish. Man, just be like you know, just be pathetic and <laughs> and and goofy looking. Yeah, pretty easy. Pretty easy. Yeah, yeah, that one's not not too hard. All right, this one's called Two Hilarious Names. Okay. All right, it's a uh, pretty stupid is the category. Okay. Which name is more hilarious, Hom Tanks or Jobbert Rowney Jr.? So it's Hom Tanks or... Jobbert Rowney Jr. Jobbert Rowney... Uh, Hom Tanks? Hom Tanks? I'm, I'm, I'm more on the Hom Tanks. Uh, Jobbert Rowney Jr.? <laughs> Jobbert Rowney Jr., Ronnery Jr. That's just too. That's just too dumb. I. I. That's too, too dumb. dumb to be. Hom Tanks is. Hom Tanks is nice and simple, <laughs> and I think this is pretty funny. It's pretty good. Hom Tanks. 
It's pretty good. I, I do. I kind of like the Robert yeah. Downey Jr. one only because it's, you know, once you get more names involved, then it's. <laughs> that becomes <laughs> sillier. Yeah. <laughs> but overall, we should have somebody with three silly. names. Yeah. All right. Number five. <laughs> this one's called The Joy of the Perfect Open. It's extra thinky. Ooh. All right, we've done it. We've used artificial intelligence to create sentient doors. Their sole purpose is to open and close for people as smoothly as possible. They feel pleasure when they open at the right time and speed, but humiliation when they open too fast or too slow. Even so much as grazing a woman's dress makes them wallow in despair. But oh, the joy (laughs) of the perfect open. Anyway, is this an ethical use of artificial intelligence, or is this kind of fucked up? Well, I mean, I mean, it depends on what you. So, how how is it? Whatever your definition of artificial intelligence is, I suppose. Yeah. I mean, I don't have a problem with this. <laughs> theoretic, theoretically speaking. Yeah. It may feel weird, um, you know, to to see the, like the door depressed as you walk by and it, and it clips yeah. you a little bit. Or, or, or <laughs> blushing. The, would the door somehow blush? Would it like turn a shade of red all of a sudden as you go through? You know, it's undeniably good um, if you feel weird, you know, but we got to normalize these things, you know, sentient doors, yeah. the way of the future. Sentient doors. Well, I mean, it's a little weird. I mean, it's because you are sort of enslaving it to do. To, uh, if, if this is truly <laughs> to a, feel a shame. if it's truly a, um, an independent intelligence. So, like, the thing is, like, with AI right now, AI is a real big hot topic mm-hmm. at the moment. But AI really, at this point, is really just um, a, a a something that's receiving millions upon millions of inputs of data at a single time and churning out a decision based on those inputs. Which mm-hmm. I guess you theoretically could say that's what people do as well. But the problem is, is that there's no true because it's receiving all that data from from sources that have been entered into it, mm-hmm. rather than like there. There's no such thing as um, you can't have like a, a, a inspiration or um, you know AI isn't independently thinking. It's it's making judgments based on math essentially. Um, However, if we were to get to a point where we're able to create something that is able to independently think and independently come up with ideas, um, yeah, it starts to get a little weird. That there's a lot of def- definitely an ethical gray area there. I think more oh, yeah. the more you the more you sort of think about it. <laughs> um, rudimentary AI, though, maybe you know that wouldn't I wouldn't have a problem with, even if it is feeling embarrassed. Right. You know, you gotta up, you gotta you gotta learn. You know, it's like. Like you can learn how to open a door, looking getting that perfect open, you know, going for that, and then maybe someday we'll upgrade you to something else. Maybe that's what what young AI starts as. You know, they start as like the door, but then they are able to upgrade if they perform really well. Huh. <laughs> it's like a job. They, that's how they. No, no, no. Eventually, we'll give you an Android <laughs> to inhabit. <laughs> like, <laughs> you know, it's like the old Johnny Five dilemma from Short Circuit. It's uh, do you is it are they really feeling something? You know, it's like. Am I alive? Is it alive? You know, feeling these emotions is programmed to feel these emotions. It's tricky. I think it's something you probably shouldn't avoid. You know, I feel like the same thing could be accomplished without the emotions needed to be evolved. But uh, I can't imagine that. I feel like program motion sensor. Yeah. (laughs) Motion motion sensor is good enough. Already at exist yeah i mean i think that's good i think that's good enough i don't think it yeah, really yeah need wait wait, wait. yeah we're not even yeah the heart of this is like why do we even need sentient doors like <laughs> it's not like oh it's not perfect that's really like one of the last things i can think of that needs to be reworked and yeah you know like a rarely i rarely I, like you see every now and then a, a, a glitch in the a, an automatic door but nothing to yeah, like the pressure sensor, the motion sensor, whatever, it doesn't isn't working right or nothing calls but, for this. Yeah, I to me, I guess that is sort of cheating the the sort of the spirit of the question. But right, right. to me, that, that's it's like it, it's just such a weird. <laughs> I 
Um, yeah, because they're investing well, so I much about, into these things. You know? Yeah. So yeah. it's fucked up. It's fucked up to go out of your way to to like make a weird emotionally like uh, artificial intelligence that is, gets emotional over things for something that's not even like important or necessary. Yeah, you know? it's just for Emo- your own it sick really... gain. Yeah, because that means because that does mean that then you are like restricting its ability to feel emotions about other things. Right, because like it's it's not gonna be like it's not gonna be like having opinions on like opera, or like the politics. All it cares about is just that perfect open. I'm trying to trying to get that. Yeah, the sweet the joy so of the perfect open. Yeah. So that's making the AI your slave, and I don't really know if I like that. Yeah, just throw it out. Throw I, it out. I, Forget it. I, 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 I feel like if if data from from Star Trek has taught me anything, uh, maybe don't don't consider your ai just property because then you get into the whole you get into the whole slavery thing and it gets a little weird so yeah 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 all right this one's called stepmother porn oh boy it's controversial nsfw controversial (laughs) Ooh. straight up how do you feel about stepmother porn ethically spiritually and sexually (laughs) <laughs> ethically <laughs> spiritually and so hold on at what, what, what were the three things ethically, ethically spiritually, spiritually and sexually, sexually. Hmm. okay so like you want to take this one are we talking are we talking specifically about like are we talking specifically about the the poor the idea that there's pornography about it or are we talking specifically like about the concept itself, like if that was actually to happen in reality as opposed to in fantasy. No, no, or... we're talking about stepmother okay. porn. Okay, specifically the category, that the the whole genre that's taken the world um, by storm. Taken the world. Well, it's not just step. It's not just stepmother. It's step everything. I'm stuck because, in, know, the wanna, in the washer. In the washer. You don't want to get to. You don't want to go too far. You don't want to make it actual siblings because then that's, I guess, a little too, a little too weird. But if you you yeah. skirt that line, I'm sure there's actual guidelines, maybe that, like these. I actually think that's are... actually, I think that's actually why. Yeah. Um, like my my brother, like I fuck my brother. Like he, they don't say that stuff, you know. Yeah, you can't. Yeah, you can't do that. Okay, so, um, ethically, well, um. <laughs> I mean, I'm not gonna say I'm not gonna say that I'm a perfect person or anything. Yeah. Um. So obviously, I have watched pornography in my life, of course. Oh, um. Goodness. Goodness oh me. my gosh! Can you believe that? Um. Yeah, everybody has, whether they like to admit it or not. Um. Ethically, I mean, that's like a whole that's like a whole bag. Like pornography in and of itself, um, <laughs> like is is just kind of a kind of a uh i think most people you know would say that it's like that's yeah i don't know okay um, on the surface on the surface right it's like there's nothing yeah. technically wrong with you know it's a step stepmother the, the the specification of stepmother is a very the important uh distinction here yeah. Right. You're not related. To, that's the whole thing about it. So there's nothing uh, technically. I don't think there's wrong anything ethically. It. I don't think there's anything wrong with that fantasy. Um, I do think, however, that's because it's become so popularized. I could see like generations getting fucked up from it. Like like everybody getting horny about their step family. Sure. <laughs> and they're like, sure. I want this. I want. Yeah. This I mean, I mean, I would say that about pornography in general. Um, I mean, I think that like, right, but it's popularized like, such I... a situational thing, right? So it's like, yeah, now now stepmom's got to be on the alert, like when they're but bending over and like getting stuck and stuff. I'm, I'm... <laughs> <laughs> it's like God, I, mean, I, I think, gotta keep okay. an eye on him. Here's the thing: I, I know, I know, it's because it's because there's specific legal things, but like, it is essentially skirting onto that onto the basically incest more or less it is skirting into that and i think i i and as somebody who 
as somebody who enjoy has enjoyed my fair share of uh the uh Japanese persuasion of this certain thing, hentai. Mm -hmm. Um there's a lot of that in hentai. There's a lot and it's not and it's not step, it's just full blown incest at that point. Mm. Um lovely. And uh yeah, I mean like I think as long as you have your I think as long as you have your like as long as you know that it's like so it's not really it's, it's, this right? is such it's a it's, they have a separation. Yeah, you have to you have to have the you have to have a mental separation <laughs> between like reality and fantasy. Um but I do kind of agree with you that the oversaturation of the thing is is the part of it that get that gets a little weird for me. Um because I think I think having too much of that I mean like cuz I think I think there's just too much there's just too much pornography in general. I think I I I'm going to be real. I think that's sure. not healthy well. for society con to consume as much pornography as it does. Um I you know I'm not I don't want to like sit here and be like you know these uh what were the three categories again? <laughs> <laughs> Ethically, spiritually, and sexually. Okay, spiritually, yes, very big problem. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, especially if you're a religious person, um, uh, well, I th you know, I, it's definitely a problematic thing. I mean, here's the thing: if you even if you take religion out of it, spiritually, spiritually having a thing for your stepmom is not a little weird, like it, like as an existential sort of thing. I mean, like, isn't, Freud, that, isn't that a little isn't that a little wrong? Freud would you would know? take it a step further. You know, yeah, <laughs> he tried to warn us in advance, but you know the, I think the distinction between you know it's it's very different from incest. You know, you, you know it's like a step removed, but I, I, like it's so popular that I imagine most of the people, obviously, I, let's say like ninety eight percent of the people that watch this would would How not ninety eight percent ninety eight percent. Oh, okay. I thought you said like fifty eight, and I was like, "How? That, where'd you get that? Where'd you pull that statistic they from?" Would, uh, <laughs> they would not be on board, or like with incest, uh, because it's. I, I think it's like a um, forbidden fruit type thing. You know, it's like you shouldn't do well, this. Here's the it, thing. It's like taboo, but it's there's nothing really wrong with it. We're not related. They always say that in these little when they're acting it out. It's like, you know, we're not really related. You know, but by blood. Yeah. <laughs> so, blood. And it's just like a taboo like forbidden fruit thing like you shouldn't but we should you know yeah well here's the thing that's the thing that i that's the thing that i actually think i i that forbidden fruit aspect that's the part in like hentai manga that i actually that's what i like about it mm -hmm. like i'm i'm gonna be real that's that is like a tag quote unquote your tags with hentai that's a tag that i like because there's like that like it's sort of like really hot to have this sort of like forbidden aspect of it. Like it's like, Oh, there's their siblings. They're not supposed to be doing that. Or they're, I don't really like the parental stuff very much. I, I, I'm much more into like the, if it's siblings as opposed to a mother, father, there's just, that's a, that's weird to me. That's too, that's too weird. I don't really like that so much, but um, it's it is definitely like the 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 fantasy of that is more in the that I think you're touching on it with the sort of forbidden sort of aspect of it. And I think technically speaking, that's I think probably in the in the, with this with it being actually portrayed in reality, um, that makes it like I think probably more more important for them to make that distinction, um, probably legally to make that distinction. In a lot of Western, yeah, Western but, uh, media, and, and I think just in general, um, and it's, people but I think it's the same. But I think it's, yeah, I think, I, I yeah, I don't know, maybe, uh, maybe that's maybe uh, that is. Like, a, I wouldn't be thing. comfortable. Like, I, I, I think the yeah, very important distinction for me, and I think stepmother, stepmother porn is like a as an umbrella that kind of encapsulates that feeling of like the forbidden brute thing. It's just an easy yeah. term to immediately give that connotation to it. To what are you it, doing, step bro? Right. <laughs> but it's like <laughs> um you know, it's like the neighbor, the 
next door neighbor or the the plumber comes over it's all these kind of, it's adjacent to that kind of thing yeah. it's just the most in your face yeah. like this is what we're going for here and obviously it's uh but like i said i do think i just can't imagine how many uncomfortable situations have come from the the existence of this porn you know yeah i mean these little these little twerps I, going up to their stepmoms <laughs> being freaks I sure. I mean, I sure. I, I. I don't know. I feel like there's there's a certain degree where which I agree with you, but like, would they maybe have just done that anyway? Been really weird and creepy about no, it. No, absolutely not. Absolutely not. Because it is okay. taboo for a reason. And then this is like. Yeah. Okay, millions of people are watching these these things. It's like, oh look at them. They they they're having so much fun in these videos. They yeah. Love it. Yeah. Dang. Maybe I should do that with my stuff. Yeah, exactly. It's like let me drop some try hints. Let me like, yeah, it's it's weird. Yeah, it, but it's that, weird. And and then but, as the generations it, yeah. grow up with it being a normalized thing, it's I think it could have some uh <laughs> some ramifications there. But yeah, I mean, again, I think that I would say that about about pornography in general, as I think I think uh, I think consuming too much of that is certainly like really not good for really not good for i i think fostering like relationships sexual relationships with other people um you know so it's like it's one of those things that's like yeah you know obviously on a spiritual level i obviously have a problem with it as a whole um but i'm mm. not going to sit here and be like nobody can ever consume it because people are going to it's readily accessible easily accessible if you're especially if you're an adult um i mean even if you're not adult it's pretty easy to get to get a hold of um and uh the yeah um i think it is not it's not overly healthy for your I would say it's probably it's not ultimately not very healthy for your for your mental health either really because it's like what after that after that dopamine hit and the and everything it's like then you're then you realize like oh here I am again alone <laughs> the the post uh, stepmother porn not clarity hits differently yeah the <laughs> exactly it's differently than the normal stuff yeah it's differently than just the 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 normal cut of, cut and dry front of the yeah. middle girl next door stuff or whatever you're you're into but but then sexually um, yeah it's pretty hot <laughs> <laughs> it's the idea of the kink, yeah. kink shaming um like you don't kink shame kind of thing it's like they're very people have weird kinks very weird stuff which obviously society would view negatively a lot of the a lot of these different kinks uh out there but sure i just like, i sure i just outed one of my hentai tags yeah. like uh, don't kink shame me please <laughs> just because i enjoy that but you gotta separate you gotta separate from reality because it's like yeah it's too well it's too it's too weird like it, it's the thing that like it just like it actively grosses me out thinking of like two two like legitimate people doing that like but yeah fantasy anything's possible you know so <clears throat> these are acts of acts of fiction and um um yeah <laughs> <laughs> that was a, that that came out of pocket that came yeah. out of left field compared to most of the ones we've been at yeah. so far all yeah. of a sudden it's just like but I'm serious I'm serious these uh stepmoms don't just don't just don't don't bend over just don't you really just don't that's weird it's don't weird bend don't over bend over when the sun is around yeah danger danger <laughs> danger yeah you gotta always have one don't. eye on him yeah don't don't yeah. play don't play any like blindfolded games you know pin the tail <laughs> oh. on the donkey or anything so if like you that. say you got a surprise yeah, for you do like not that. do yeah. not it's like all right let me <laughs> No blindfold, please. No, and when they're and when they're um and when they're carving out a pumpkin, like don't, yeah, don't uh, you if know? They say they lost something in the couch. You need you to go look in the cushions. Yeah. <laughs> you 
you can find it yeah. yourself. Oh, ha, ha, ha. I put glue, I put glue in there. I glued it. I put glue. Yeah. The glue is uh, it's something else. <laughs> I mean, the washing machine is something else. You can't get stuck in a washing machine. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Not in that way, anyway. It's always so funny to me to watch just for the, the spectacle of it. How will they get stuck this time? <laughs> spectacle of it. How will they get stuck really this time? It's kind of like, amazing. It's like they would literally be looking in the cushion, the couch cushion. She she gets stuck in the cushions. And she's like, oh, not again. And then the stepson comes over and it's like, it's like, come on, not again. Here I am. Like, okay. And they're like, oh, you yeah. get stuck. Hmm. Uh, gee, I, I, <laughs> Let me I have you. a solution. Yeah, I'll help you. This will help you get unstuck. <laughs> It's so dumb. I swear, I swear it'll work. No, there was one. There was one thing. I think I saw. I, I saw like an ad for it. They were just people. They were just straight up like it was like we're hiding, but they were straight up having sex in the middle of like an arcade. <laughs> yeah. Like people are like walking I by. Rent these it's like out, people. Huh? It's like people. I, well, that's yeah. That's that's one question. <laughs> but the people in these videos are like these people have worse uh, field of vision than the High School Musical uh, <laughs> yeah. uh, well. cast. It's like they're walking by and like and then like someone will be like, oh, oh, they caught us or whatever. And it's like there's like they, they didn't walk. They didn't walk up to you <laughs> even remotely close in compared to some of the people that were walking straight by you. Well, that's my favorite like, what are you part talking of, about? That's my favorite part of the ones where it's like people literally having sex right behind like or right next to someone watching TV or like laying down or whatever <laughs> it's like they're so into the like, movie no <laughs> yeah it's just platform. like wow check this check in the wow, ca- holy crap the couch is like crap, shaking like, next to them and they're yeah, like, they're like whoa i'm just really into it i'm really into it you know they're like they're like you okay over there yeah yeah i'm just really into it you know? <laughs> yeah it's just like Ooh, what a yeah, movie we're on the f- we're on the <laughs> phone you know there's all sorts of stuff like that oh boy yeah all right that's good <laughs> So I mean, uh, problematic in some ways and uh, understandable in others. It it can't it can't be yeah it can't be can't be good for you right it can't be can't be all that healthy <laughs> because like I don't know, I don't think that was popular like when I was young I don't think this was a popular thing I feel like it's really taken the world by storm the past few years. It was like the pat. I would say it's within the pat. Boy, yeah, it's probably been like within the last like ten years or so. So now today's today's I, I youth can't, are growing up with it. I, I can't. I can't say. I can't like pinpoint an exact time, but there was a there was a period of time where I started to notice it a lot more, and I was like, oh, what? And, and they get really confused, being like, huh? Yeah, yeah. I was surprised. And, I did, and then all of a sudden, it's just it's just everywhere it's like oh oh my gosh Mm -hmm. (laughs) now it's now you're more it's more surprising to find something without it ted cruz watching Corey chase it's like it's just uh (laughs) oh was that was that was that one of the things that yeah that was one of the things right that was one of the early browser early on when when it was ted cruz popular yeah right i don't know who that woman is (laughs) <laughs> I, don't I don't know how it got there. <laughs> I don't know how that got there. It was hacked. All right. This was hacked. I says, uh, I've been had. That's <laughs> what Ted Cruz. Uh, Next one is the Mind Crusher's Scale of Happiness, NSFW. Okay. All right. What if you had an endless tube of Oreo cream filling you could squeeze onto stuff whenever you wanted? How happy would you be on a scale of one to five, where one is like the happiness of eating an okay salad, and five is like having sex with God? If I could have a tube of Oreo what? cream filling, okay, that I could squeeze eat whenever on, you could squeeze on the stuff whenever you wanted. Probably like a like a one and like a, a half, three, probably. <laughs> I don't care. Maybe like hold on. What was it? Uh, a scale of one is like eating an okay salad, and then five is sex with God. Yeah. Well, first of all, that's that's kind of strange. It's weird, weird. Okay, that's we said not kink shame, weird. but yeah, but that's weird. <laughs> I can't relate to that. It's unrelatable. God is a God is a 
genderless entity who has most times chosen to reveal himself in him forms, but there's aspects of God that have female characteristics as well. But God doesn't really have a gender, so yeah, that's yeah. weird. <laughs> you know what they're getting at. You know what they're getting at. Like the most magical, divine, the most magical sex you've ever had. Like mind blowing. Hello, little worm. I am God. Um. So it's like a one point five two for me. Like literally would not. <laughs> I don't. It's not. It's like it. Yeah, it's kind of like I would say it's like around the same. Maybe like two. I like because like Oreo cream filling is great. Don't get me wrong, but like, the, but who, they say put this... to put, squeeze on the stuff whenever you want, as if it's like the most applicable thing to like squeeze onto anything. You can you can put Oreo cream filling on a burger. It's it's good on yeah, everything. No. no, it's like very no. such a, very rare. You could actually squeeze it onto something, and it makes sense. Yeah, Oreo and like Oreos are great, but like, but why? <laughs> yeah, I don't think they had. I don't think had, they had what they thought they had here. They must on that one hot tub trip. They were really getting into it when they were. Yeah, they on. may have been. They may have been partaking a little bit in the. <laughs> um, you know. Uh yeah. I probably. I probably like around the same. Maybe like a two. I do like Oreos a lot, mm. and it's better than an okay salad. Hold it's on. like it'd be pretty neat to have, but like, but like why? It's That's more my question. Golden Oreos. I don't like uh, those are I do not like golden Oreos at all. Go fuck yourself. I really, I really don't. I really don't like them whatsoever. Actually, <laughs> there was a there was a list. There was a list that I read through uh, last year, a couple years ago. That was like the best cookies. It was yeah. like a list of like fifty of the best cookies or whatever store bought cookies. They had golden Oreo as number one, and I was so upset. Oh, I was like, really? they're wrong. Yes. They're just completely wrong. No, no, they're good. They're good. I like them more than regular Oreos, if I do dare say so, myself. No. Okay. No. Nope. I'd rather have Hydrox cookies. What is that? Hydrox are like uh, where or they actually predate Oreos. They're like an old, like a really old cookie. They're basically like Oreos, but they had uh, chocolate know. and like golden Oreo together. So mm, right. And then yeah, I mean, I, filling in the inside. I mean, I'll get those at uh, like the store brand stuff, like Walmart has them and stuff. You know, I mm -hmm. do like those from time to time. All right, great stuff. Good stuff indeed. Oh my God, we're hitting all the big ones here. The champion masturbator, controversial <laughs> NSFW. Why? All right. Why? <laughs> yeah. A lot of a... sex this time, I guess, huh? <laughs> yep. You're at a hip new Mexican restaurant eating awesome tortilla chips. The waiter approaches why? your table. Why? Why is this? Why is it starting <laughs> this way? <laughs> the waiter approaches your table, unbuttons his pants, and starts to masturbate. A champion masturbator, okay. he quickly ejaculates all over your tortilla chips and walks away. <laughs> to your confusion and delight, the tor tortilla chips now taste even more awesome. <laughs> <laughs> How do you know that? These, yeah, Why would you, you eat them? Right in. These might be the best chips you've ever had. Wow. What percentage do you tip the waiter? <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, I'll play along with your game. We'll say I ate them. Yeah. We'll say I was like I was like <laughs> mid chip and then he just like he just <laughs> He sprayed his load like all over the chip as it went into my mouth. Like, we'll wow, say that. that made it way more way better. Um I mean, I've always been a purveyor I, of the twenty percent or more, you know, twenty yep. percent bare minimum. So yeah, 20, I'd probably I'd probably give him twenty percent, maybe <laughs> a little bit more. It'd be like, I mean, you know, I don't know what I, I don't know what you're eating to make it taste that good, but uh, you know, yeah, uh, keep like, please continue that diet. Does like um, indecent you know. exposure and that stuff kind of go out the window just because it tastes better now? We forget about that. <laughs> it's like yeah, yeah, I guess, it's I guess, but like I'd also be like we didn't ask for it. So it was, yeah, that's that's very much not cons <laughs> not consensual. You just yeah. In fact, I would say that's like you're, yeah, Sexual like, like you're well, you putting know. your body bodily fluids in my passages. <laughs> like, what's up with that? That's all kinds of weird. It's all kinds of messed up. Well, here's the here's another thing. Was he doing this at other tables? That's what I'd like to. I'd like to see that too. If he was doing it just for us, <laughs> I mean, he said or was a champion he doing it? masturbator. Like they describe him as yeah. the champion masturbator because he's just so quick and efficient with it. It must be just part of is the that, job for him. 
Isn't isn't that like a isn't that like a bad thing being a quick shot though? The champion, the champion masturbator. He's the ch- <laughs> No one does. He's the champion. Shot. You got to. It it's instantaneously service. hard and instantaneously just <laughs> just yeah. wad everywhere. Um. Yeah, for the spirit of the question, sure, I'll I'll I'll, I'll tip him that. I'll tip him well. Um, I'll tip him nice not way. in the spirit of the question. Not in the not in the spirit of the question. Why? Yeah. <laughs> Why? That's my I don't question. Think it really matters how good they taste. Yeah. <laughs> it's like we we just we can't normalize this in society, folks. We just we, we, can't, we, we really started like, moving away from this kind of behavior, and I think it's uh, we need to still take a stand, even if it tastes really good. Look, look, sir. If your ejaculate tastes like amazing, like okay, you've eaten pineapples, you've eaten like sweets or whatever to make yeah. it taste just amazing. Thank, sir, you just can't do that. <laughs> you I just mean, can't go do that. I don't know. This is your. I don't know where you've been. New Mexican I don't know. restaurant. Yeah. But it was. This was a surprise and and a delight. It says. But well, what are the what are the female uh, what do the female waiters do? No, like what are no they? female waitresses. I mean, just they, him. They could do the He's same just thing. him. He's but, alone. But it would be harder. Um, <laughs> they could hmm. be champions too, for all we know. Well, I'm thinking like, you know, obviously it was a surprise, so it just seemed like a normal Mexican restaurant when we came in. And uh, what you need to do if you're <laughs> like, if you're so blessed with this really wonderful tasting ejaculate, as you said, you need to market it as such. You know, it has to be a really quirky restaurant that you know what you're getting into. You come for the champion masturbator with every meal. No, he com- he comes for you. That's right. He's that's, Come- that's- <laughs> There's got to be a catch, <laughs> catchphrase there, or like a tagline yeah. there. Come for the, come for the chips. Yeah. Save for the cum, or something. You know. Yeah, yeah. I don't, come for the... I don't know. <laughs> come for the food. Oh, save for the cum. Boy. <laughs> yeah, maybe. <laughs> um. So I mean, you just got to be upfront about it. I mean, boy. Just because it's like <laughs> tastes really good doesn't just justify all the actions beforehand. Yeah, it doesn't you really. Gotta, you gotta come up and say, really would you, would you like some ejaculate on your chips, sir? I assure you, it's the most prestigious quality. Yes. Yeah, if he like, if he like, really tried to sell us on it, maybe if he was like, I promise, you know, there'd been like more lead up to it. Like, I promise, you you won't you won't regret it if you if you try my special seasoning. Yeah, now it's coercion. On your, you know, it's, yeah. a, it's still problematic. <laughs> <guess it's>, yeah, <laughs> it's still, it is still a problem. Yeah. Um, yeah. the only thing, the only thing that I'm thinking of now is, um, it's just a thing that I saw one time where it was, um, it's like a Mexican restaurant went into like, uh, went into a place that was like an old Chinese restaurant and they had decorations of pandas on the wall. Mm-hmm. And so the Mexican restaurant just decided to, to paint sombreros onto the pandas yeah. <laughs> <laughs> to make it, a, to make it a Mexican restaurant because it's like, ah. Oh, this art was great, so I'll just put a sombrero on the pandas. Uh, right. well, that makes me giggle. <laughs> so realistically, I, I probably wouldn't tip him. You know, I'd probably alert somebody. Uh, alert the police. Yeah. Uh, the FDA. Uh, manager. Manager. Uh, can I speak to the manager, please? Oh yes, he does that. He I am the manager. <laughs> no, oh yeah, he does that. Yeah, I know. I am the manager, actually. Yeah, <laughs> you're speaking to him. You <laughs> should speaking of us. Uh, oh goodness! All right, no, oh, oh my god! A couple more here. Okay. This one's called the Meta Mind. Uh, it's extra thinky. So. Ooh. Okay. So when you connect a bunch of brain cells, consciousness happens. We don't know how it happens, but it happens. How about when you mm-hmm. connect a bunch of people? Do they form some kind of higher level group consciousness? Are we all just brain cells in a big group mind that has its own thoughts, feelings, and desires? Cogs in the machine. I mean, that's a lot of where like meme theory comes from, right? Like that, like ideas can can spread like a, almost like a like a virus. Mm-hmm. Um, they go viral. Yes, uh, I, don't, um, I don't buy it. I'm out. I'm out on it. That was fast. 
I mean, like, I, I don't necessarily think that, like, we're we're not all, like, the cells working together. Um, I don't think we're, like, cells working together or anything quite like that, but I, there is something, uh, there is something about collaboration um, that does tend to, that's how, I mean, that's how, like, progress is made, right? You know, it's not one guy in a lab like figuring things out it's like it's like most science and most like inv invention and a lot of that stuff comes with like experimentation with like a lot of different people and and some of them do you know come about from like a singular person coming up with a lot of ideas but um but like a lot of um a lot of progress like like scientific progress is made through collaborative efforts. I would say the same is also done through like political efforts, right? That a lot of that is even political philosophy. Um, I'd say like the founding of America was done through lots and lots of painstaking research and study of prior governmental systems of philosophers of both the 17th century, 18th, 17th, 18th, 17th, and before centuries hmm. of political philosophy. And um, yeah, I mean, like a lot of that stuff is just done through, you know, no one's an island, I guess, in that regard. So like, I, I think there is a lot of power in, in that. Like, how do you think movies are made, right? Movies, collaborative massively collaborative efforts um to make movies same sort of thing um so i i think there's definitely something to that but i i wouldn't necessarily go so far as to say it's like it working in the same way that brain cells sort of work so yeah i think it's an over uh simplification of it perhaps sure it's some really it's not a one to one for sure. <laughs> yeah, but like it, it's true. It's true too that like like I think of um, like a lot of like artists sort of getting together and having. So there there is this place somewhat near me. Um, it was known as the Cornish Colony, and it was essentially like a bunch of artists, a bunch of like neo Renaissance sort of like artists. They studied. Um, a lot of different, um, I said, like neoclassical and stuff. And they were, they were trying to, it was, it was an art colony essentially. So there were a bunch of like, you know, well, relatively well off individuals that were able to buy a bunch of land, but they were able to sort of gather together. And, uh, you know, in summers they were, they would get together and, do art sort of not necessarily collaboratively, but they would, because they were nearby, they could bounce ideas off each other and some would sculpt. Others would, others would paint. Um, so, some would create music. Others would design, uh, like write poetry. And, like it was just a sort of like an all sort of an art kind of thing. And I think the idea of that was like being in sort of the right environment for creativity to be fostered um yeah. sort of the right sort of idea but that of course is requiring their minds to be doing a certain thing independent of each other but also collaboratively with each other so you know it's just community in general right i mean yeah it's all the environment yeah. last one hot garbage hot garbage nsfw i could re i could read that one Ooh. <laughs> It, Hot garbage. Is it physically possible for a garbage man to be so sexy that upon seeing him for the first time, you would rush outside and have sex with him on top of the garbage, like for real, in real life? No. 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 I I, I I wouldn't even. Yeah. I, mean, I don't think I don't think it's I don't really think it's that possible. I mean, like, even if it was a woman, I don't think it would be possible. Right. That's what I'm saying. Like. <laughs> It's like no, like like garbage is like gross, you know. 
Would not want to have sex in garbage. You rush outside and have sex with him on top of the garbage. Like, or right no on the top that. of the garbage. There's no saying. <laughs> Apparently not. <laughs> no, he's asking for it. Zach, he's asking for yeah, right, it. Right. These garbage <laughs> men, how they dress. Yeah. They're just asking for it. They're just, they're just they're trying to seduce you whenever they're around. Uh, No. That uh, prompt was a nice hot garbage prompt to end the video yeah, on. Yeah, that was a pretty, pretty <laughs> terrible car prompt, not going to lie. That was some hot, that was some trash, oh, some trash these, these hot prompt tub, right there. Uh, these hot tub sessions, you know. You know you, sometimes yeah. you get some good ones, sometimes you don't. They may have but stayed in the hot tub a little too long. I yeah. rushed too much blood gone to their head. There's another episode of uh, Mind Crushers, <laughs> like, Try to think of a way to not have stepmother in the title, but it'll be hard. <laughs> yeah, that was what we talked about the longest. Thanks for a deep, yeah. Thanks for joining us for a deep dive on like pornography. Stepmother. So maybe I don't know. I, I, it probably is in there in the title. I mean, <laughs> I don't know what. Not porn, but yeah. Uh, no, you can't do just, that. Just stepmother. That isn't that sad stepmother. that stepmother just saying stepmother. He's like you kind of, it gives a certain connotation now. <laughs> what are you doing, step bro? That's the, I think my favorite part about those is the fact that they they straight up called them like, you're my you're my step bro or step. Well, they step say sis, it. Yeah, they're very like, very. No, literally, no it. one talks like this. No what one talks like bro. this at all. Right. Yeah, no one talks like that. Yeah. Yo, he's my little step bro. You have to dis- distinguish it very clearly during well in the filming of the video. What are you doing, step bro? Who is not related by blood? Who is not related by blood? But for the sake of the scenario, you are living also in the same house as me. Therefore, giving you a convenience to be involved in my life and and rooting around through my underwear drawer. I don't uh, know. Not the underwear up, drawer. <laughs> <laughs> not the underwear drawer. Oh my god. He's 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 he found the dildo. That was what happened earlier. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Stepmother, dildo. I mean we 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 got through some stuff. We so. ran the we ran the gamut of the human experience this time. You yeah. Know? All yeah. right, well, thanks for watching. <laughs> if you enjoyed thanks that for video watching. <laughs> <laughs> If you enjoyed that video What's our most stepmother like porn type video we've done? Uh, uh, baby. What the what the heck was the no baby? What was the weird movie we watched? Gaby did not have any stepmother porn. Gaby, <laughs> no, it didn't. But I would say that's like the closest <laughs> thing. Uh, no, uh, go watch Eternals. Our review of Eternals. Uh, yeah, classic film. <laughs> All right, classic and. Uh, if you enjoyed, subscribe to the channel, like the video, and leave a comment letting us know your thoughts on stepmother porn and dildos <laughs> for toys. All right. Uh, what a weird episode. If you do leave a comment, we'll be sure to read it on the next episode of the Talk Around Podcast. All right. Click the link in the description for our social media and hit that notification bell, too. Until next time. <laughs>